FF Venture Capital has the infrastructure of a much larger VC with 20 full-time employees, but we're an, an institutional seed stage investor. The only reason we can afford that is we've been fortunate to have very good returns since 1999 when we made our first investment. Uh, and we are reinvesting that into our business and into our support infrastructure to increase the odds that our companies are successful. Since 99, we've made over 180 investments in over 70 companies. Prominent ones include Cornerstone On Demand, the 10th biggest SaaS company in the world, 500px, a beautiful photo sharing site, Quigo, acquired by OL for north of 340 million, How About We, dating site here in New York, and many others. We have full-time staff devoted to helping you in recruiting, in software engineering, PR and communications, in building out your business. The way we view it is every startup has idiosyncratic risk, the unique aspects of your business, and then there's market risk, things like how do I recruit great technical talent. So we try and help alleviate the market risk, the systematic risk, and let you focus on the idiosyncratic risk of your particular company. We are also uh, unusual in having broad diversity across our portfolio. We have investments in three in Israel, two in Canada, one in the UK, uh, about 15 in California, although we're based here in New York, Pittsburgh, Atlanta, uh, a lot of other places that many VCs are not willing to go to cut a relatively modest check. Our typical investment is under 500K, valuations at five mil or below. We will invest at or above our pro rata as the companies develop, assuming we continue to believe that it makes sense to put further money into the entrepreneur as a company develops. We, uh, we are also a little unusual in the diversity of the personal composition of our team. Uh, we have, uh, if you look in our two funds, the last fund and current one, uh, the 20% of our companies have a female co-founder or CEO, which is well above the industry norm of about 5%. The other hat I wear is I'm founder and chairman of Harvard Business School Angels of Greater New York. We are part of the International Harvard Business School Angels Network, which is made up of Harvard affiliates. We invest, of course, agnostic to where people went to school. In fact, if anything, we have a bias against Harvard affiliates in our investing. Uh, here in New York, we are the second largest angel network. Our members have put to work $2.9 million since we were founded uh, close to three years ago. Our typical check size per angel, per company, per deal is 54,000, which is probably the highest of any angel group that we're aware of. And that reflects the deep pockets and the uh, deep intellectual capital that our members bring to bear in supporting our companies. In creating HBS Angels, an interesting design problem, most VCs focus by stage, geography, uh, and or potentially by, uh, by uh, other metrics like personal backgrounds of the founders, like some have a bias for technical founders. At HBS Angels, our membership is highly diverse on all measures of the word diverse, age, industry background, and so on. So we decided to create a focus on women and minority entrepreneurs, not a hastened ad because we thought it was a good thing or a social enterprise. No. We thought that most VCs have a groupthink mentality and don't pay enough attention to entrepreneurs who come from a non-traditional background. And we thought that by publicizing the fact that we're open to non-traditional entrepreneurs addressing non-traditional markets, we're gonna get the chance, the privilege, of meeting entrepreneurs whom we will hopefully have the opportunity to work with. And that has gone very well since we launched it a year ago and it's given us the chance to meet a lot of great entrepreneurs, some of which uh, have received capital through the HBS Angels Network. So I will be here afterward, happy to take further questions. Questions for, uh, for David? I have a question. Why should I bring a deal to HBS versus to FF? So FF is an institution. We move quickly. One of the beauties of our model is most of our competitors are individual angels with potentially an administrative assistant, right? So we have the resources to help you far more than any other, uh, almost any other investor you're likely to talk with at the seed stage. Uh, we encourage people to talk with any of our CEOs, including the CEOs of companies that didn't work out, do your reference checks, and typically they'll say we're one of, if not the most value-added member of the cap table. HBS Angels invests in a much broader set of companies. We're more focused on tech, we don't do healthcare in general, uh, and also are more diverse by stage. So I'm biased because one is my day job and the other is volunteer, but my suggestion is approach FF first. If that doesn't work out, go to HBS Angels. Uh, and of course, HBS Angels is more global. We have in London, we're the most active angel group in the city. In Paris, we're one of the top two. And we have chapters in nine other cities globally where MBAs tend to congregate. 